हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अनदर सीरीज ऑफ टू द पॉइंट टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज हाइग्रो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी वाइज इट इन द न्यूज रिसेंटली साइंटिस्ट एट मैसाचुसेट्स एम हर्स्ट यूनिवर्सिटी अचीव अ रिमार्केबल माइल्ड स्टोन इन रिनेबल एनर्जी बाय हार्नेसिंग द पावर ऑफ हाइग्रो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी Now let's discuss what is hydroelectricity. The concept was first explored by physicist Nikola Tesla. Hydroelectricity is the generation of electricity from the humidity of the air. It focuses on the power of humidity harnessed to drive electrical devices. It is a type of renewable energy that has the potential to be a major source of power in the future. Now let's understand how hydroelectricity is generated. The process of harnessing electricity from humid air requires a tiny device consisting of two electrodes and a thin layer of material filled with nanopores. The nanopores are less than 100 nanometers in diameter and allow water molecules from the air to pass through the device. As the molecules of air move from an upper to a lower chamber they interact with the edges of the nanopores that build up electric charge imbalances between the chambers the process hence transforms the device into a miniature battery generating continuous electricity now moving on to benefits of hydroelectricity The device is small in size and has potential applications ranging from powering miniature computers and sensors to providing sustainable energy sources for remote locations. The electricity is versatile and unlike other renewable energy sources such as wind and solar is run by humidity that is continuously available making it a sustainable reservoir of energy. The technology can be applied to a wide range of materials such as wood and silicon as long as they possess the required nanopores. Now it's time for the practice question. Consider the following statements regarding the hydroelectricity. One the concept was first explored by physicist Nikola Tesla. Two hydroelectricity is the generation of electricity from the humidity of the air. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two? Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Dear viewers, watch this topic in Hindi on our Drishti IS Hindi YouTube channel.